Hello everyone, today I would like to be presenting my topic about submarine based on Archimedes principle. Before that, I would like to explain the components of the submarine. A submarine has two hulls, which is inner hull, also known as pressure hull, and also outer hull, which is watertight. Submarine also has balance tanks, which is located between the inner and outer hulls. These balance tanks control the buoyancy of the submarine. Therefore, submarine can sail on surface or underneath the water. So, for the characteristics of a submarine, submarine consists of ballast tanks, therefore it can sink and float in the sea. Second, it is attached with a periscope to view surrounding area when submarine float. Third, submarine also consists of a streamlined body to reduce water resistance. Next, it also uses nu nuclear power source because it is cheap and lasting power. Lastly, it uses strong material for body to withstand increasing pressure underwater. So the working principle of submarine. Submarine operate using the principle of buoyancy by Archimedes. Archimedes principle states that an object, when it is completely or partially immersed in a fluid, it is acted on by a buoyant force which is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. So how does a submarine work? Definitely using the Archimedes principle. So, um, when the submarine sinks, water is pumped into the ballast tanks. This will increase the weight of submarine. Therefore, weight of submarine will be greater than its buoyant force. Result in net down force, hence the submarine will sink. To float, when compressed air is released into ballast tanks, water is pumped out from ballast tanks. Therefore, weight of submarine will decrease. Weight of the submarine will be smaller than its upthrust. Result in net upward force, hence the submarine moves upward. It floats when weight of submarine is equal to its upthrust. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you.